what makes good character design? That's a huge question you have to answer yourself before you start doing anything on your game. I'm making a Barbie inspired short horror game in a retro low poly style and I'm using the game to get better with AI behavior and sound design. And hopefully I can sell it on Steam and pay the rent. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Creating a good character design for the main monster, in my case, for an indie game can be very challenging. But with the right approach, you can come up with something that's both unique and memorable. Number one. Start with inspiration and reference scouting. Before you sketch or model anything, Take some time to research the signs that you like. Look for inspiration in films, games, comics and other media. Pay attention to details, features, elements that you find appealing and try to incorporate them into your own design. I'm struggling still with drawing sketches, so I thought 3D sculpting the character straight up based on my reference images to get a sketch is the way to go here. For my reference images, I added and I would recommend you two anti references to my scene to avoid unconsciously copying something else that's already a thing. Number two Consider the character's role in your game. Think about the character's role in the story or in the gameplay. Is it a boss monster? Is it a common enemy? Is it a companion, a main character? Each of those roles require different design approach. A boss character, for example, should be large and imposing, while a common enemy should be smaller and weaker in his look and such. For my monster, I want to bring a kind of twist by introducing her as this very girly, small, bright, playful toy. And later on, she will turn into the nightmare version of herself. By the way, spoiler alert. Also, by the way, if you want to support the channel and um, this game, please consider becoming a Patreon number three. Think about the character's backstory and personality. A good character design should convey a sense of the character's backstory and personality. If a monster is meant to be scary, it should feature imitating and menacing features. If the monster is meant to be comical, it should have features that are whimsical and humorous. And so on my design, um, on my design here, I'm going with a girl sleepover theme for the for the toy brand. Like I mentioned, girly, but then also comfy, casual, and kind of funny and stuff. Number four. Focus on the silhouette. That's a very important part. The silhouette of a character is one of the most important parts of its design should be unique and it should be easy to recognize uh, the character from a distance. Keep in mind that the silhouette should be simple uh, as it will be likely seen in a lower resolution, smaller screens, larger screens and so on. That way the players can recognize it even on a phone or on a tiny thumbnail. Her Betty Bunny's design is heavily inspired by bunnies. Her sweatpants and the hairstyle are design choices to achieve the silhouette of a bunny that gets, you know, picked up or a bunny plush toy, which leads back to the sleepover theme uh, of the in-game toy brand. So you see there are a lot of thoughts behind it. Number five pay attention to the details. Once you have the basic design of your character, take time to add small details that will make it stand out. These might include textures, patterns and small features that are unique to your character. I have one small detail that rounds up the whole um, Betty Bunny character, which are the bunny slippers. It just makes sense in this case. Number six, test and refine. Once you have your basic design tested by creating 
simple scenes and see how it could work in game. Let other people take a look to get a feedback and to make changes as necessary. I personally would totally recommend creating test let's play thumbnails to see how the character uh, and the colors and such would work in a 60 by 9 aspect and with text on it and such thank me later on that one <laughs> well 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 i hope you got something out of this video if you want to see more of the betty bunny indie horror game devlog and tutorials for retro ps1 stuff in blender and unreal uh, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and see you in the next one and and now watch one of those videos maybe this maybe this